Hey y'all. Not really. Not really giddy or laughy for this video. But this is 30 Thrillers and this is the journey and this is part of it. Today, I wanted to talk to y'all about feeling rotten in a breakup. Um, I told y'all in previous videos that I won't bash my ex because he's a good dude. And I wanted to just talk to you guys about closure. So, um, yesterday he sent me flowers because he's a nice guy. And he knows women love flowers. And he did it with good intentions because he knows, you know, things have been a little overwhelming when you move and you start over and... You're starting over in a new career and starting over with new friends and starting over with living in a different side of the country. It gets overwhelming. And the thing that I'm battling with the most is when I call to thank him for the flowers, he seems happy and very content and moving on with life and just to give you guys background because it's it's not very private what we went through but I approached him about six months ago and told him that I wanted to move to Florida and his dreams are to live in New York City or LA and I have zero desire to live in those places so we kind of found ourselves in a spot where we knew in the past few months of our relationship that we were headed in two different directions so we decided to make the best of it and celebrate every week that we got to spend time together because it actually wasn't a difference of personality thing it's just a difference in timing and a difference in where you are in life and I'm moving on. I'm okay in that regards, but every now and then I get thrown, like, just an emotion. You know, when I was talking to him yesterday, we had made plans for him to come and visit me in the fall. And I'm not sure if I was holding on to that. Um... A, because, I, I mean, I love the guy. I've, I will probably always love him he, because he's great. But also B, because I didn't want to have to go and face finding someone new and making memories with someone new and sharing nicknames and, you know, starting over. At 35, I know y'all know that sometimes you just wish you, if you're single, you just wish you had a person. And it, he was my person for a long time and we never argued. We never not had fun. I think that's what's making this the hardest is I'm out here without a without my person. I know I'll find another person. I will put just as much love into my next person. I'm not, I don't have any baggage to go into the next person. I don't believe in doing that. I'm not going to make the next person, the next guy, you know, I'm not going to punish anyone. There were no mistakes. Maybe it was timing. Maybe it was a reason, season, lifetime kind of thing. The guy came into my life for a reason and a season, just not a lifetime. I merely wanted to cry and I wanted to show you guys that this is part of part of it. I like to talk it out. I like to um just get off my chest and I appreciate y'all letting me vent. I know some of you are going to think I'm absolutely bonkers for posting a video like this, but I want 
some of you out there to know that like times it gets lonely and it's okay to grieve and it's okay to move forward and I'm battling with the communication that he and I have because I know the right thing to do is to cut it off, let it go. And I think that's what I'm I'm facing tonight is after the conversation I had with him yesterday, I feel a little more free and that also makes me sad. So, um this is part of life, right? And I'll be okay tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll go back to talking about funny things and crazy instances. And, you know, uh, if any of you are sad and you just want a person to be sad with, you can write to me. You know, I'll tell you that you're wonderful and you'll find someone and that is true. I know women hate in a breakup when other women say, oh, you'll find someone else. It's annoying, but it's true. You will. I will. You will. I love love. I can't wait to meet another guy. It's, you know, I hate when people are like, oh, you need time. You need six months. You need you know, no, you don't. You know yourself. You know when you're ready. You have. You know you're gonna have nights where you're sad. Like, welcome to being a human being. So, thanks for letting me vent. And if I can be there for any of you, I would love to, because I know so many of you have been writing to me and it's have been changing me even just over a week. It's amazing. I understand why people do this on the internet because the conversations I've been having with you guys the last week have been so rewarding and I appreciate it. So thanks for letting me vent. Don't waste the pretty. Tonight the pretty is not here. <laughs> you won't find it here tomorrow. However, I am going to put on some makeup and maybe I'll curl my hair and smile and go back to being bubbly but tonight I'm gonna end the night like this I hope y'all have a fabulous day tonight or a fabulous night talk to you later bye <laughs>